Hi everyone, this is Professor Anil Joshi. I am the owner of commercefunda.com website and plus I have the Facebook page by the same name. So do visit my Facebook page and like the page. The topic which I am going to explain now is the calculation of profit on reissue of forfeited shares which is there in your company accounts. Now in the share capital entries whenever typically there is a forfeiture of shares and reissue of forfeited shares this is profit calculation is the last part and that is where most of the students make mistakes because they have not understood this concept how to calculate this profit on reissue of forfeited shares don't remember that mechanically understand the logic behind the calculation then it becomes very simple and what happens is in the whole share capital question this carries little higher weightage because you know this is the crucial part because rest of the things are comparatively easier as compared to calculation of profit on reissue of forfeited shares so if you make mistake here then there are chances that higher relatively higher marks will be deducted in your overall marks so that is why be careful about the calculation of this so let me explain to you how this is calculated now first of all before i go to the formula you all know what is forfeiture of shares so whenever the calls in arrears are not paid by the shareholders the board of directors may get a right to forfeit the shares as per the provisions in articles of association so if the shares are forfeited then whatever amount the shareholder has already paid that is never returned to that shareholder so if for example a share of face value of rupees 10 and the amount that was called up was rupees 8 and out of that what is paid up by him is rupees 6 now the remaining 2 rupees he has not paid so that is called scenarios for that share in spite of the reminders he did not pay so the board has decided to forfeit this share so then when the share is forfeited that person ceases to be a shareholder but then he has by that time he has already paid 6 rupees to the company so these 6 rupees are never returned back to that shareholder so this, uh, this amount will be retained by the organization by the company so now since these 6 rupees are retained by the organization next time when the company decides to reissue the forfeited share this same share to somebody else Okay, and let us say company decides to reissue this share at say rupees 7 per share so that means what has happened is originally company received 3 rupees sorry 6 rupees now the company is going to receive 7 rupees from the new person so overall on this share how much amount company is going to receive 6 plus 7 13 rupees but the face value was how much 10 rupees so against a share of face value of 10 rupees company is going to receive 13 rupees so this extra 3 rupees is nothing but the profit made by the company correct so that is where the question of profit on reissue that comes in the picture see why this profit has happened again go back to the same example see company had originally retained six rupees so ideally next time when the company is reissuing this share to someone else company should pass on entire six rupees as a discount because six rupees company has already received so now see the face value of this share was 10 and company has decided to reissue at seven that means how much a discount company has passed on on the reissue 3 rupees only so instead of passing 6 rupees discount company has passed on only 3 rupees discount to the new person that means the remaining 3 rupees company has pocketed that is nothing but the profit for the company correct so understand how why this profit arises first of all in case of reissue of forfeited shares now now the next question will be how to calculate this profit on ratio of forfeited shares because remember in this kind of a question 
not necessary that all the forfeited shares will be reissued by the company. So that is why don't take this profit as the balancing figure in share forfeiture account. It will be a balancing figure provided all the forfeited shares are reissued. But if all the forfeited shares are not reissued, then you can't take the balancing figure that will be wrong for the take for the purpose of calculating the profit on reissue of forfeited shares. So that is why you need to remember the formula for the calculation of profit. And the formula is very simple. So what are we discussing? We are discussing the profit on reissue of forfeited shares. So how do you calculate that? Face value originally received per share, write that number, whatever it is, per share minus the discount on reissue per share again. Write that amount. So, this minus this is nothing but profit on reissue per share. Obviously, per share because these are all per share numbers. So, now you have got for every share that is reissued, how much is the profit made by the company? So, overall profit will be how much? Obviously, this multiplied by number of shares reissued. Simple. Profit per share multiplied by number of shares reissued, whatever that number is, overall is going to be, it is going to be the profit on reissue of forfeited shares. So, let us put the same numbers in this equation and then you will understand. Face value originally received by the company per share, 6 rupees. The discount that was passed on, on the issue of shares, 3 rupees. 3 rupees is the profit. Whatever shares are reissued, so that multiplied by 3 rupees will give you the profit on reissue of forfeited shares. Remember, these number of shares are not the number of shares forfeited. These are the number of shares reissued because out of 100 shares, if the company has reissued only 80 shares, so profit will be only on 80 shares. Remaining 20 shares are not reissued only. So where is the question of making a profit on those 20 shares? So these will be the number of shares reissued by the company. Correct? And then, so once you multiply that, what you get is the final final profit on reissue. You apply this formula, your answer will never go wrong. So, couple of things that you need to remember. One is here for the purpose of calculation of profit, we are taking only the face value. So, don't consider the securities premium, even if that was collected by the company originally. So, it, there may be a possibility that company issued this share at say 10 percent premium, though that is 1 rupee and company collected also. But for the purpose of our profit on ratio of shares, we are not considering premium. We are considering the face. So every word is important. Face value originally received per share. So obviously face value does not include premium. Right? Now my next question to you will be that ratio of shares, forfeited shares here, we said it is 7 rupees. So that means there is a discount. But if you remember, if you have uh, you know gone through Companies Act 2013, Section 53 says that the shares cannot be issued at discount now, correct, except in couple of cases, in case of insolvency and the second one is sweat, sweat equity shares. Other than these two, the companies are not allowed to issue the shares at discount. So then the question is, why, how can this be at discount when the issue of shares at discount is not allowed? So this is still allowed because the reason is issue of shares at discount is not allowed. But here we are not talking about issue, we are talking about reissue. Now reissue of forfeited shares is not same as issue of forfeited shares. Reissue of forfeited shares is like a sale of your old shares because the issue had already happened earlier. You are not going to issue the same share again and again. So this is a kind of resale of original share. So that is why this is not coming under your section 53. So even if the forfeited shares are reissued at 7 rupees, it and when the face value is 10 rupees, this still does not violate section 53. This is still perfectly fine. What you need to remember is you cannot reissue the shares at 
at say rupees 3 let me tell you the reason because if you are issuing reissuing the share at 3 rupees that means you are passing on 7 rupees discount but how can you pass 7 rupees discount when originally you had received only 6 rupees because now what will happen is originally company received 6 now company is receiving 3 that means on a share of 10 rupees company is now receiving only 9 rupees so then 1 rupee is lesser that is received by the company 1 rupee is not received by the company instead of 10 rupees company is now overall receiving 9 rupees so this will amount to reduction of share capital which is not allowed so then that means what we are now learning is the discount that you pass on at the time of reissue of forfeited shares can never be higher than the face value originally received that is not allowed because if you take these numbers in the formula what will happen here let us see face value originally received per share 6 rupees discount on reissue 7 rupees because you reissued at 3 so 6 minus 7 will become minus 1 which is a loss obviously multiplied by number of shares reissued will be will give you overall loss on reissue which is not allowed you cannot have a loss on reissue of forfeited shares because then that is reduction in share capital which is not allowed then you have to follow the reduction of share capital provisions and all that right so in case of reissue of forfeited shares you cannot have a discount which is higher than the face value originally received right so these are the other things that you need to remember but however for the purpose of our main topic which is calculation of profit on ratio of forfeited shares you have to stick to this formula and your answer will never go wrong all right so hope you have understood how to calculate profit on ratio of forfeited shares please do remember this and don't ignore this part because this is the most important part in the overall journal entries of your share capital thank you